Yo guys, welcome to Asha Fitness. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to do weighted pistol squats. I recently achieved a 38 kg pistol squat PR, so I thought it would be good to share some tips and tricks that will help you level up your leg gains too. If you enjoy the video, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you really enjoy it, then share it with your friends on Facebook, Reddit, X, or whatever your favorite social media platform is, so they can learn how to do weighted pistol squats too. Weighted pistol squats are great for building strength and size in your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Once bodyweight pistol squats become too easy, they're an awesome exercise to move on to because you can use them to progressively overload your leg muscles for maximum gains. Before you attempt weighted pistol squats, you should first be able to easily do 10 normal pistol squats in a row. This will make it safer to do them and give you a stronger starting point to progress from. To do the weighted pistol squat, stand in a starting position with the weight below you. Pick it up and position your palms under the top of the weight to create a shelf for it to rest on. Tuck your elbows in to lock it in place, then descend with the weight in your hands, making sure to keep your back and outstretched leg as straight as possible. Once you reach the bottom of the squat, use the power of your quads, hamstrings and glutes to push back up and return to the starting position. The weighted pistol squat is fairly challenging, so here are a few tips to make it easier. The first is to keep the weight close to your chest. When performing the weighted pistol squat, it's best to keep the weight as close to your chest as you can. This makes it easier to hold the weight throughout the movement so you can focus on your balance and form. If you try to hold the weight too far out in front of you, it will be much harder to hold, and at higher weights, it will be impossible. So keep it as close to your chest as you can for the best results. Your arms may naturally come forward slightly to help you balance as you descend, and this is perfectly okay. If they do, you should continue to think about keeping the weight tucked close to your chest as it's a helpful cue that will stop you from extending your arms too far. As you come up, bring the weight back towards your chest to make the ascension easier and reduce the burden of the weight on your lower back. The second tip is to use full range of motion. Surprisingly, weighted pistol squats become easier if you use full range of motion. This is because you can rest for a short time at the bottom of the rep, which allows you to regain your balance and gather the strength to complete the full movement. They're much harder if you only go down halfway, so I recommend using the full range of motion to give yourself an easier time. The third tip is to push from the heel. Generating power while keeping your balance throughout the pistol squat can be tricky. You can make it easier by pushing from your heel on the way up. Make a my muscle connection with your heel, and when you push yourself up, Focus on driving your heel into the floor. This doesn't mean lean backwards. You need to keep your center of balance strong by keeping your foot flat. But making a my muscle connection with your heel will give you more stability, so you can concentrate on pushing back up. Bonus jump! It's really easy to drag the heel of your straight leg on the floor when doing weighted pistol squats. So make sure to consciously think about keeping your leg up throughout the movement, especially on the way up. Lift it as high as it will go using the strength of your hip flexors and actively keep it raised as you ascend and descend. Thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, then let me know in the comments below. This has been Ashton with Ashton Fitness. Now go do those weighted pistol squats.